This is a video to re review on how to solve equations, one-step equations with addition or subtraction. So the first two examples here, uh, looking at how to solve x plus 9 equals 23. Okay, so I'm going to write that a little larger so I can work off of it. x plus 9 equals 23. And I'm going to draw a bar to describe the situation. So what really I'm looking at here is it's like I have a piece of material, a bar here, and it has two parts to it. It has an unknown part and has a piece that's nine long and the total length is 23. Okay? So if you're trying to figure this out, looking at the bar, you take 23 minus nine which would be 14. On the equation, we do the equation very similarly, but we always think about with an equation that we have two sides. So we draw a line down the middle. And anytime we work across the middle, we're going to do the opposite. Okay? Because what we're doing is we're going to remove equal parts from both sides. So if I want to, I really want to get just x by itself. So I'm going to take the 9 away. Now, if I'm going to keep the equal sign, equal sign means the two sides are balanced. They're the same. So I'm also going to have to take the 9 away. So now, notice I'm really doing the exact same thing as, as was on the bar here to solve, but just a little different process here with the equation form. And so after I take 9 away, okay, well, 9 minus 9 is 0. So this is x plus 0, which is really just x. And 23 minus 9, again, is 14. Okay. So there's our answer. And with equation, one of the nice things with the equation is we do have a built-in check, and we could do the same thing here, is, well, if we got, if this is really right, then 14 plus 9 equals, and yeah, it does, 23. So there it shows, there we checked, checked our work, okay? So now if we come down to the next one here, the, example, the second example, okay, m minus 8 equals 16. m minus 8 equals 16. Now what does that mean? Well, that's the idea that we have some total piece, and we're going to take m away, 8 away. So we have a total piece here. We're going to take a chunk of 8 away, and what's left is going to be 16. And the total length now is m, okay? m is the big piece, okay? And following through with that, well, then m would should have to equal 8 plus 16, which is 24, okay? If I follow through and use a solving process with the equation, again, cut that in half, and on, you know, put a line to divide it at the equal sign, keeping in mind that the two sides are going to be the same, and I'm going to do the opposite. I want to get the m by itself. So I'm going to take away. I'm going to do the opposite of minus 8. So I'm going to plus 8. Because when I take away a minus 8, that's actually going to make it 8 bigger. And I have to match that. So I have to, take, I have to go plus 8 on the other side. One thing you can look, think about is always just take whatever's doing to the variable and do the opposite. So the opposite of minus 8 is plus 8. Okay. So I end up with m plus 0, which is just m. That's going to be equal to. And again, 16 plus 8 is 24. And as we did before with the previous problem, I should be able to come over here and check. And on the check, I put 24 for m, so I go 24 minus 8. And yeah, that works out to be 16. So this is, so this is our correct answer. Okay. So there's a couple of practice problems to go with this worksheet, so complete those and show them to Mr. Wilbert when you get a chance.